watching a PC Whiz Kid review. Today we're looking at the Arctic Freezer 33 Esports 1. This is a tower CPU air cooler, comes with a Bionics fan. Okay, we're going to look at this all in detail, of course. I'd like to point out one thing 10 years warranty on this, so limited warranty, but still they really stand behind their product on this. Whether you're using an Intel or AMD socket CPU, it's compatible for both. You can pause the screen and take a look right there. Up to uh, 320 watts on cooling capacity maximum. Wow, that's uh, 200 TDP, okay? So just keep that in mind. You can definitely do some overclocking on this based on what they're saying, which is great. Here is the size and the height. You can see right there, so it fits nicely in your case. You can measure that and make sure. It fits very nicely in the one that I'm about to show you. And there is the weight as well, 676 grams. I'd also like to point out the bearing type, okay? That's the fluid dynamic bearing. The uh, engineering inside of that motor, they're saying, is going to lower um, not just the temperature and the lifespan, but also keep things quiet, right? Because it's absorbing a lot of the noise. So I like the fact that they've spent a lot of time in those details. A lot of people take that for granted. Installation is going to be very similar whether you have an Intel or AMD CPU. Um, I'm going to show you that in just a moment. The um, Copper heat pipes, by the way, those alternating heat pipes there that you see six millimeters in width for each one of those are going to touch very nicely and focused in the center where most of the heat is going to uh, rise from that uh, CPU die, okay, from the processor. So they've strategically placed things in the right spot. And like I mentioned, you've got the fluid dynamic bearing there that is going to make sure that you have a smooth, quiet operation on that fan as well. So the combination of the way they've got the um, thermal coating on these uh, fins and the aluminum fins and everything is going to really come into play. We're going to see that in just a moment. I like how they added the carbon neutral logo there because they're trying to minimize how much uh, waste they produce when they um, make the packaging, for example. All right, so here is all the stuff in there um, that is going to be appropriate for your Intel or AMD CPU. If you're using AMD, it already has uh, on the board the back plate. You don't need that, but this is the Intel one, okay, just in case if you're wondering what that is. Uh, this little uh, piece of paper here tells you that you can get the manuals in different languages, so just scan that and you can get that. The Intel uh, socket CPUs as you can see there that it supports comes with all the screws and hardware that you need to fasten that the retention uh, brackets all of that uh, you can see here uh, the um, clips for the fans that's gonna allow us to um, install uh, the fans on there and additional fans actually you can install uh, one more on the other side um, this uh, uh, bracket plate here that you can see is common for both whether it's an Intel or AMD installation so a lot of uh, what I'm going to be showing you applies to both an Intel and AMD CPU type of installation. Very similar, very similar. The manual tells you everything step by step, so don't worry. As you can see here, those are all the uh, parts that come inside of the box, so you're good to go. Don't get discouraged. This is very easily uh, installed. Uh, it's not complicated at all. So for first timers that have never done this before, you know, it's, it's pretty uh, standard and easy. Um, first things first, let's take a look at this. 49 fins going up and down here. They're coated very nicely. I like the black color. The fan is uh, red, as you can see there, but you can get it in other colors, actually. There, I did uh, see it uh, in white, uh, uh, yellow, black. So, you know, red really looks nice in my case because I have other, other components that are also red, so it matches very nicely. So um, the single fan comes installed, you can see right there on that side. You can install another one if you want. You would get additional clips like this and uh, that's pretty standard these clips and there are holes already made on the uh, heat sink here on those uh, fins so that you can install and clip on another fan on the opposite side so you can have that push-pull effect now I've got plenty of fans inside my case already I don't really need two fans just one is good enough as long as it's blowing the air flow through here pushing it out through the opposite side I've got another fan on the other side on the case that will suck it out so we're good to go there. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Well, the uh, cable, actually, if you look at the cable, it's got daisy chained another four pin connector. So this is really interesting. I'm surprised that a lot of manufacturers are not doing this uh, as standard. You know, we run out of um, headers for fans on the motherboard sometimes, and this really does alleviate that problem. So I'm glad that they add that. Thank you, Arctic, for providing that. Uh, it really does help to have this, okay? 
I like those little details. Now, one thing before you install this, make sure that you take out this little plastic piece here that's protecting the bottom. Uh, you know, it'd be a catastrophe if you installed it with that plastic on there, okay? So just keep that in mind, take that off, and then we can proceed with installing it, okay? Two screws on either side there that we're gonna be fastening um, the uh, appropriate hardware to, okay? So it's not rocket science, trust me, it's very easy whether you have AMD or Intel, first things first, you're going to install your CPU on the motherboard. Okay, so I have an AM4 socket here. I'm going to put the uh, Ryzen 5 1500X CPU on there. Doesn't matter if you have an Intel, similar procedure, you can install it on your required uh, board. Follow your motherboard instructions on how to do that if you're not sure how. Once that's installed, now we can proceed with setting up the um, Arctic Freezer 33 Esports 1. Now, we're going to add here, according to the instructions, there's uh, a little groove there so we can fasten this piece right here. You see this? So just make sure you have it faced in the right direction. It says it on the manual, okay? So don't worry, everything is uh, given to you step by step. And then just screw in that screw. I mean, how hard is that? That's easy. Anybody can do that one. Do that on both sides, right? It'll look something similar to this. Then once you've done that, put some thermal grease, a very, very thin thin coating, very thin coating right there on the copper heat pipes, okay? Once you've done that, then you fasten the four screws onto the motherboard, okay? Onto the bracket, the back plate bracket that um, either the Intel or the AMD, okay? So you, you put the four screws on there. Don't over tighten it though, okay? It's got the instructions in the manual alternating the screws so that way you have the proper pressure and uh, and it's leveled but don't overdo the screws and tighten it too much now once you've done that plug in the fan header connector there and then take a look there at your uh, memory slots because there's plenty of uh, room there for you to install now the uh, memory okay so that's what I'm gonna do I've checked everything I did a once look over looks good now I install the memory the memory is also installed in there and uh, there's lots of room it's not touching uh, the, the memory that I have and now I put the graphics card in there and again lots of room for air to flow and it's super quiet by the way like I said earlier and uh, when I close the case and put the window on there it doesn't touch so those are the little details that I like to point out it's cool quiet it's a great size it doesn't interfere with anything it doesn't touch anything there's lots of airflow going around and that's what you want right um, it's priced very well, and I'll add the latest link and the pricing below. Before we get to that, let's run some benchmarks, okay? So as soon as I boot up this machine, I'm going to go right into the BIOS, and we're going to get some readings first from the BIOS, okay? This is the system that I'm testing it. Look at that beautiful case with the window, right? All right, so boot it up, go into, uh, into your BIOS, and I'm looking at the CPU there on idle, 24 degrees Celsius, okay? So that is pretty darn good. Um, of course, the case fans that I have are set onto medium and low settings, so I don't have everything blasting at full strength. There's just no need for that. Everything is um, running on cool and quiet mode, which is really what you want. And uh, when you have things set up and tuned very nicely, this Arctic Freezer 33 Esports 1 cooler is super, super quiet. It's purring along, I tell you. Now, going into Windows 10, I'm gonna get some hardware monitor settings so that we can see here on idle how well it's doing. And you can see here the CPU uh, fan, okay, from the Arctic Freezer 33 is running at 404 RPM. That's v very low, cool and quiet. The CPU itself is only hovering around the 25 degrees Celsius mark. And you can see that right there on this screen at 3.4, almost 3.5 gigahertz, okay? So that's a pretty substantial amount of uh, uh, megahertz power there running, and it's idle, and those are the readings. Now, if I run the CPU at full load, 100%, okay, everything blazing, maxing it out, here are the readings that we're getting. Voltages, you know, are up. Wattages are obviously up. RPM of the Arctic, uh, freezer 33 the bionics fan is at 1600 rpm right now and you can see there the cpu is running at 45 degrees celsius approximately uh, give or take a few degrees depending uh, but that's really it with the case closed remember all my tests are real world scenarios not open cases which a lot of people do this is how it would be when you have it at home with your case 
closed, okay? And uh, I'm very impressed. So here, again, is a look inside uh, with it turned off. Very nice setup. Definitely impressed. Very quiet. One of the most quiet uh, tower cooler fans that I've reviewed. Thank you, Arctic, for providing it. Comment below. I'll add the latest pricing. Like I mentioned, it's very, very well priced. I think they have a sale on on Newegg.com. I'll add the link below so you can purchase it if you're interested. And again, thank you for watching.